everybody in uh, YouTube land. It's DC here and uh, wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. It's a bit late but there we go. Uh, I've been absent for a while and this is my latest uh, video and uh, what we got here is we've got a, um, te it's a, a Tesla system with a two spark gap. It's a plasma power transformer. Well, it's my version of a plasma power transformer. So we've got a, a fluorescent tube here. Uh, for those of you who can remember from last time, I uh, better go <laughs> from the beginning. Um, we've, we've got a Mori motor here, which I'm finding very useful for doing experiments. So uh, instead of the battery, we've got a regulated power supply, which is set at 13.9 to start with. So we've got the Mori motor, we've got a capacitor, we've got a 10,000 volt transformer, uh, we've got an inline capacitor here just to boost the circuit a little bit, and then we've got a fluorescent tube. But the fluorescent tube is part of a system which is forming a double spark gap. So we've got that high tension voltage coming off from the transformer here, and we've got a spark gap here, and then the other side of the spark gap connects to the fluorescent tube here. The fluorescent tube runs through a steel, it's a scaffold tube which has been cut off here, so that's steel. And then we've got some, I don't know if you can see it here, some wires which are wound according to uh, the Stubberfield uh, coil. Uh, uh, those of you that are familiar with Stubblefield, it's a, a, sub, a Stubblefield earth battery. So that's wound like that. It's a bit complicated, so I'm not going there at the moment. But if you've got the interest, that's how that's wired. It's got um, some wire here, which is cotton covered. That's one coil. And then you've got some ordinary wire, bare wire there. And then there's a circuit of anneal copper wire, which is this external one here. Um, not going into too much detail about that at the moment, except it's wound exactly like the stubble field coil. You've got a little open end there. So the idea is that we fire high voltage through the tube, yeah, and also we adjust this spark gap here, um, and it's very, very sensitive to try and get outputs here in amps, which this is a, a, a thick coil it's off a car, a car battery charger so it's thick copper and we're just seeing what amps we can get through the thick copper and then I will all be also be testing at various points for uh, the voltage so I'm looking at here amps and voltage in relation to here which is the power consumption at the wall okay I hope that's as clear as mud <laughs> so um, a little schematics schematics are oh, the lights bad today but um so it's like we've got the the steel tube we've got the fluorescent light in the middle um and then we've got the copper coil wound round the steel tube as a stub of field cell so uh from the top we've got the the uh, meter the the power supply 24 volts or thereabouts that'll be varying that voltage and then we've got the mooring motor We've got the DC motor, which uh, is, I think it's a 24 volt DC motor, um, which has an output here, and the output varies a little bit, but we'll, we'll look at that later. And we've got a cap and a high voltage transformer, which is about 10,000 volts, it could be more. And then we've got the spark gap, which is adjustable, which then hooks up to the fluorescent tube. The fluorescent tube then sends a spark through the tube and we get a flux off it and um, that's where we get the amps and the uh, the voltage um, off at various points. I've just realized I've not shown the heavy coil on here but that's that's a little bit like um, you know primary winding and secondary winding. Um, I might have to do another video on that and then we've got uh, four points here from the from the points on the coil winding and then I'm be pulling off one of these points here and running it through a resistance lamp to a clean earth so uh, I hope you've got the script on that I'll take a, a photograph of this and perhaps you can follow it it's not very good it's just 
I'm, it's where I'm at at the moment. So um, this video, don't take it as gospel, but we're, we're, we're getting there. Uh, the main thing is I'm trying to get um, amps and volts. So I'm going to fire the system up. Okay. So if you look at the the voltage here, try and get it set up. Okay, I'm now going to test the voltage uh, to earth, which is a clean earth, and off the body of the um, the steel tubing. And we've got uh, about 200, 210 volts. So the voltage is running at uh, 168 or 67 volts and we're running at um, not much amperage at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is turn the system up a little bit. I'm going to turn the, the voltage up. Now we're running at 4.9, 4.9 amps. So I'm just going to turn the voltage up more. We're at 17.3 at the moment. So we're running at 9 amps, 10 amps. This is this is some power now. Around about 20.9 amps. That's, I wouldn't like to touch that now, it would kill me. <laughs> okay, so I'm excited at that because I've been trying to look at the ampage and the voltage. So this system, the system is whacking it out. Um, obviously what I've got to do now is uh, find out the best, the best point to, to, draw, to draw off here. Either the tube, the scaffold tube, or one of these other points on the uh, coil. But we're, we're, we've got a consistent, a consistent um, ampage going through here. It's really good, which is very encouraging. Okay, that's about it for now, folks. If you've got any questions, you know, please, you know, ask the questions. And if you want to replicate it, I would be glad to um, assist you in replicating the, the old project. Okay, this is DC signing off. Twenty amps at sixty point five watt.